Okay, I'm going to be answering every question about trigonometry that has been asked, but specifically, I'm just going to be doing this last part, which is trigonometric functions and graphs. Now, I believe there was one question that was asked in transformations of graphs um, that did also come up with this kind of stuff, but I think there's only two questions so far, so kind of tricky whether you want to look at this, but, you know, it's going to be good if you have looked at this topic already as a quick recap. So once I have to sketch the graph of y equals tan x between 0 and 360, well, one of the things we need to know about is that there is an asymptote at, nine, at 90, and then there is an also an asymptote at 270. It starts at the origin and kind of shoots up like this. And then when you go into this next section, it kind of looks like a cosine gra graph. Of course, it isn't a cosine graph, but it looks like that. And it's also going to come up to here at 360. So this is kind of like a do you know what it looks like kind of thing. And that's something you can check out in your revision. So you can see we've got this graph here. Yeah, mine's a slightly different shape. It's less sort of severe in this place, but that is perfectly fine. I know that for sure they would definitely give us this part. Okay, so this one says, here is a graph of y equals sine x. Using this graph, find estimates for all four solutions of sine x equals 0.6. Now, I have actually done this one in the transformations of graph section, but we're going to have a go at this one again just because it feels like it should belong in this section. So I want to find out when it's equal to 0 0.6. 0.6 is going to be this line here. Now, hopefully that's going to straighten up for me just like this. Great, we're going to try and read off these values that we have, which I think is a value here and a value here as well. Let's hope that's going to straighten up. So if you think that this is 90, these are going up in 30s. So this is a 30, this is a 60, and each square, if it's 30 and there are five squares, 30 divided by five is six, so each square is six. So I would say that this is like 36, about 39 probably, this is 39 degrees. And then if we look at this one, this is going to be actually 180. It's going backwards 39 because it's a completely symmetrical diagram that we've got there. So if I do 180 minus 39, I'm going to say that I think this one is 141. Now, it does actually ask for four solutions because it's saying it's between 0 and 720. So what you can do is imagine that the whole graph just kind of continues going like that kind of pattern all again. So you're going to take your 39. We're going to add 360 to it, which is going to give us... 399 degrees and you're also going to take your 141 and we're going to add 360 to that which is going to give us 501 degrees so i would say that our four solutions are going to be 39 141 399 and 501. Now the reason we can add those 360 for those last two is because of the fact the graph repeats and it repeats every 360 degrees. So in theory you could have an infinite number of solutions, which is why they told us only look for solutions that are between 0 and 720. Let's double check we've got this one right. So we've got 37, 143, 397 and 503. That is okay because they want the range of answers to be 35 and 40, 140 and 145, 395 and 400 and 500 to 505. So we've definitely got these ones correct because they do fit inside that range. Now that's all the questions that have been asked on the graphs of trig functions. So only two of them, but like I said, it can pop up in other places. So do make sure you know the shapes of those graphs, especially if you're going to be doing A-level maths.